Yo, what's up guys? It's Turn here and today we're doing the CDL team breakdown and today the team we're going to be doing is Chicago Huntsman. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, this team is an interesting team. This is a team that just made a roster change. Um, so, the roster before, uh, this placement down is with Gunless, as you can see. Um, and then this uh, first place is with Pristini. So, We'll start by just, I'm sure most of you know who's on the roster, but Skump, former R City's Envoy, and before it was Gunless, n now uh, recently replaced by Pristini. So, um, the first launch weekend, um, they went 2-0. I think they played, I, wanna, I don't actually remember. Uh, Might have been Dallas. Hold on, let's go look at that, actually. Um... So, go here, Chicago. They played Dallas and OGLA. Um, they went 2-0 in their matches. So, I mean, that's just the start of the year started off on a good note. Uh, the second week, uh, this is a tournament that FaZe was not at. Um, and they got first place. So, I mean, this roster was looking pretty good on land. Um, and then it starts to get into... Their little, I guess you could say, um, I don't want to put it, Sl I wouldn't say a slump, oh, it's probably more of a slump, um, but they get three back-to-back -back third through fourths, so this ended up making them change their roster, um, they dropped gunless, a lot of people said, uh, they thought it was like an attitude thing, which I could see because gunless has been kind of turmoiled in teams before because of his attitude and just because of the way he acted. Um, just him being, you know, more aggressive about things when he shouldn't be. So yeah, they end up getting first place the first week they made this roster change. Um, so, I mean, they're looking good so far. Uh, if we go to the pro standings, they're in first place, but like I've kind of highlighted in our uh, recent... Um, episodes like in the Atlanta one and in the Dallas one. Atlanta and Dallas haven't played their in the six events. Um Chicago is one of those teams that has and they're at the top from all the teams that have done that. Atlanta's only ten points behind. So you gotta think Atlanta's basically in first place because there's no way they're gonna get two out right out of an event. Like I just don't see the Atlanta team doing that. So Chicago's kind of still I guess you could say a little behind because of these third through fourths. Um so that ended up, you know, maybe with this Pristini change, they can kind of turn things around. If they beat FaZe early, maybe get them in their pool. I definitely see them making um, kind of a, you know, resurgence, I guess you could say. Um, and kind of overtake that number one spot because I'd technically kind of put these two teams above them right now. Especially if I were, was doing a power rankings. Um, so the other thing kind of interesting about this is that uh, this uh, Chicago Huntsman team got beat by this Florida Mutineers team. Uh, I mean, a lot. I think it was kind of a hurdle for them, and once they kind of got over that, um, it's it's crazy enough because they got beat by them that much, but then, you know, they pick up one of their players that the team had dropped. Uh, but I think the reuniting Pristini and Arcides was kind of a good thing for this team, and it really helped the vibes. Um, the other thing is... What Gunless Gunless is a superstar, so he, I mean he brings a lot to a team. But in the same role, kind of I guess you have four superstars on this team already. So I mean, Pristini might be a better fit than our cities just due to the fact that he's a selfless player. Like he fits well around these people. A lot of people have said that I'm. Once you watch the podcast, um, I think mine will be out tomorrow. You'll kind of see a lot of people compare me to a Pristini because I'm, um, you know, I'm the entry guy. I'm trying to put pressure on the map whenever possible. I get a lot of engagements, etc. Like it, you kind of need that role on a team. I feel like, um, and he's one of the guys that isn't afraid to do it. Um, you know, his play style is also speeds the team up. I feel like his gunless is not a super cracked out. You know, but I mean, he's still very, very good in his own right. So you can't really, you can't really diss that. Um, but so 
the time that they did make the roster change, uh, they were playing with General until they eventually picked up Persini. Um, I do think General would fit on the team nicely too, just due to his kind of not. He was super star on some of his old teams, but I think he knows kind of with the players around him now that he's not gonna be that superstar type role. Um, I would think he's gotta kind of be unhappy with this because of the fact that the, he never really even got a chance to kind of prove himself or maybe he did behind the scenes and we just didn't know but I think that you know Gunless is kind of like on his last leg in terms of teams I don't there's a lot of teams he can make better but there's also a lot of teams I feel like he could crush an interesting thing would kind of be a, to see him go to like a Minnesota rocker um, I think that'd be really cool to see. I don't probably for silly, but I don't think that happens. But yet again, I mean, it is always an option. Seattle Surge, uh, but I think they're probably going to have a whole roster makeover. Um, I'm really excited to actually do that video on what I think should happen to that team. Uh, but if we're going to go Chicago and I could pick anyone to replace on this team, um, I think the only reasonable person you could really replace on this team from a fan perspective would probably be Persini, but that would not be the change I'd make. Um, I would honestly, it, uh, I would probably change formal. Um, just due to the fact that our cities is a good AR, but I don't know how much I would do that in this meta because of it be going back to kind of a two AR meta. Two formal and our cities on your ARs, this team's obviously going to be better, um, but. It's kind of like that situation where, like, it's like the Atlanta phase team. It's like you don't need to change anyone, but if you did have to change someone, a lot of people would say Pristini. But I'm not as comfortable, I guess, saying Pristini, just due to the fact that I think Pristini is a great player, and I think that he brings a lot more to a team than he's kind of been valued for in the past. But, um, yeah. So, Chicago kind of looking to move forward. I think the next home series would be Minnesota. Um, they're looking to... I don't know if Chicago is there actually for that one. I'll have to look into that. But um, when they come out, the, hopefully there'll be more practice than they were in the last event. Even though they won that last event, their big thing that they talked about was like only having four days practice. So hopefully they can get that sorted and get some more time in with the team. But uh, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, guys, if you're enjoying this series, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment on what team you want to see next. Uh, it really kind of just helps me decide what direction to go with this. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do on this channel. The podcast was a big thing. If you haven't, if you guys have not checked those out, you guys need to go check those out. Mine's coming out on Wednesday. Um, it should be the 3rd of this month. So uh, that'll be a banger. We also have a banger one coming out on Friday. You guys got to get see. Um, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. Um, drop your next team in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. It's been your turn, and peace.